Andrew, thank you so much. Now to the latest on the death of an 11-year-old Syracuse boy earlier this month. His Channel 9's Ashley Cofaro tells us about the two retired family court judges who will conduct a review of all cases handled by the social service workers assigned to Ashton DeGonzik's case. Many questions still remain unanswered surrounding the tragic case of 11-year-old Ashton DeGonzak. We had employees um, that did, did uh, horrific work. Uh, and uh, in addition to that, we want to review the work that's been done on other cases. Assigned by the county, former family court judges Martha Mulroy and Martha Walsh Hood have been reviewing about a year's worth of cases since mid-March, handled by the caseworker assigned to the 11-year-old boy after he was found not breathing inside the East Division home he shared with his dad. We know we had a caseworker um, that just completely botched a case um, and we cannot trust that that did not happen uh, throughout the whole portfolio of cases this individual was managing. Family members of the boy say the home's filthy conditions were among their complaints to the county's child protective services but still nothing was done to remove the boy from the home. We're here as a safety net and we need to make sure that we are performing as a safety net um, and we really have no, zero margin for error um, and when we have error we need to address it thoroughly and comprehensively and that's what we're trying to do right now. And McMahon says in the next 24 hours or so, the county will have final decisions on the fate of both the caseworker and the supervisor. In Syracuse, Ashley Gaffaro, News Channel 9.